we'll trim it out. What's up everybody, this is Barnaby at LAF. Uh, I wanna talk about power injection with the five volt LEDs. Um, I've kind of standardized on the SK6812 strip for a lot of my products. So I'm starting to offer um, the full size strips and smaller strips and uh, other sizes that you can order to add them to your build. So you can run them around your box, you can run them around your trunk, um, and they'll work with my other LED products that, that have these in there. Um, I choose these because I can get the thin strips and build a lot of my fuse blocks and signs out of them. Um, and that's why I've standardized on them. Five volt LEDs have a problem with uh, color fade. Um, basically the power is, the voltage is dropping over the strip. I have the strip turned to white, as you can see here, but towards the end of the strip, it's gone red. And that's because the voltage is dropping. Um, so I'm gonna tell you about power injection and how to fix this, it's really easy. Uh, these strips come with these little whiskers already on them, on the ends, and this is for the power injection. You can also solder anywhere you want on the strip, five volts, where you've got a ground and a five volt positive, you can bring in the five volts. Um, you don't carry the data strip, the green. The green goes in the beginning and comes out the end, goes to another strip, but you don't carry the data, you just carry the five volts. So these are uh, 12 to five volt converters. These are what I include. Uh, they're limited to three amps. You can go on Amazon and buy larger ones. This one's good for 15 amps. Um, they go up to about 20, and those will work for long strips. Uh, so you've got a 12 volt in, and then you've got a five volt out. And this five volt out is what you're going to send to the controller and also tap off of to go to the power injection. So let me show you what power injection looks like. I've got two power supplies just to illustrate another point too, but if we take five volts and we bring it into the beginning of the strip, what you're gonna see is the strip's gonna get brighter and whiter. Um, you can still see at the end of the strip that we've got some yellow, so we haven't got quite enough power going to this strip yet. Um, you also saw uh, a little bit of current drop off. This was at five amps, so now it's at 2. Uh, 278, so, milliamps, um, most of the current is now passing through this power supply and it's bypassing the controller. Um, and we've got about, what, five amps? Yeah, we're drawing about five amps over here. So that's not quite enough for a full 15 foot strip. If you're gonna do a full 15 foot strip, you'll need to bring in the five volts to both beginning and end of the strip. And now you've got a full white strip. You're not losing any color. It's really bright. Um, and you can see we're drawing about nine amps from the power supply. And we're still around 400 milliamps on the controller. So the power is actually coming through uh, from the beginning of the power supply and bypassing the controller. It's gonna prolong the life of the controller um, and you're gonna get the full color out of the strips. So again, these are the five volt converters and when you purchase any LEDs or get anything with this setup, I'm gonna send an instruction sheet to uh, that shows kind of a diagram of power injection. So these are great strips. You just gotta know how to work with them to get what you want out of them. So thanks a lot guys.